Yo, what's percolating, people? You're done, though. It's the RL Scorsese. Let's get this cracking, cuz. As you can see, man's rolling with what? The gold crepes and the gold gloves. Let's see what I've got on, fam. Got this U on his Jack Jones. Right, so I'm using the Tomfers this time instead of using the swords. So you can see one of the different weapons on the game. The Tomfers are deadly, fam. What? Hey, man loves these this, this weapon, bro. My man's out here jamming with his boy, you know. Listen, man's gonna get bodied, rude boy. Moved up, no long king cuz. Man's rolling with the Tomfers, rude boy. You feel me, though? Listen. But you're gonna get some dual swords, rude boy. Man, we'll drop man up, no long thing. Die with your homie, fam. Finish. No hesitation, cuz. But the Tomfers are hard, fam. And let's roll the dual swords anyway, cuz man ain't really rolled with these bad boys at all. The combinations you can do with the dual swords are dirty, fam. Like, absolutely dirty, bro. Like, there's one spinning attack you can get from the skill tree. You know what I mean? But my favourite weapons on this game have to be, what, I'd say the dual swords, the single sword, and the tomfers are dirt, bro. Like, oh, listen. But anyway, enough of that. Let's jump back into the game still. See what's percolating, see what's cracking, see what's around, man. You know what I mean? See, there's an item over there in the tree for man, but I can't see no enemies close by for man to lick their head top off with that arrow. Oh, there's one, but you know what? I'm not even gonna waste it on my man. I'm not even gonna waste it, cuz. Take my time and slowly walk down the street because I don't want to slip off over the river. I'll run back up here and see if I've missed anything real quick. I ain't got nothing for man. Now it. The big nasty looking ogre thing there just chilling. Anyway, let's run back around. But yeah, you know what? I have unlocked a new weapon for the single blade. So at some stage, I will be showing you guys that still. Like, the little block sort of move thing. The thing's kind of hard still. Like, man's feeling it. But when the time is right, I'll showcase some of the new combos that man's got. Oh, there's an item there under the bridge. Let me just grab that up real quick. A pillage, another dead body. Another spirit stone for man. Yeah, I'm down. So the spirit stones, I'm not too sure if I explained this before, but the spirit stones are basically Amrita. And I'm assuming you all know what Amrita is, but Amrita is what you use to level up. Um, and you can also use... So basically, when you've got your guardian spirit um, percolating... When you go active in that, you can use the spirit stones to add Amrita into your guardian spirit, which makes your guardian spirit last longer. So you can use it for that, or you can use it to level yourself up. It just depends on what you want to use it for. I personally, I mix it between the two. If I've got that's a soul stone, and I've got bear of them, and I need the Amrita to level up, then I'll use it. If not, then... Oh! Woo! Nah, man, don't hit me like that, Rufoy. Are you mad, Chief? With your big, nasty-looking self, bro. Hold that in your ass. Get me. Put man on his hands and knees, Rufoy. No long thing. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Get on the floor, fam. But yeah, as man was saying, so it depends what you want to use it for. I tend to mix it up, you get me? If I don't... Oh, I allow it. If I don't need it for um, to level up, then I'll just use it if I'm in a boss fight. And don't want my guardian spirit to go down too quick. Right, there's another item for me to pick up. Let's grab that. Ah, the other thing on this game actually is when you want to level up here, you want to get more Amrita really, really, really quickly. As well as having the, Kom um, the Kodoma set, there's also items you can pick up. So I think it's called something wine rice or something like that. That basically allows you to... Ah, oh, allow it. Get to... Ah. Oh. Basically, it allows you... It attracts Amrita to you. So, it's either it attracts Amrita to you 
or it makes your enemies when you're bracking them up they release more and reaper one or two but man will go into that a bit later on into the game anyway oh i love it i've got to run all the way back around now nope the bridge is out just run back around to where i was don't forget to pick this up. Oh, one, one arrow. Really? Just one, you know? That's the guy that I saw earlier, but I'm not going to waste an arrow when, him, when I know I've got to come around there and pick up an item. So, long for wasting an item. Right, so earlier on, I was chatting about um, new skill sets that you get within the game. You know what I mean? So I'm going to show you one of them in a moment. Let's switch up to my sword. Where is the sword I want to use? That's not it. Bat. That's the one I want to use. Right, so basically with this combo, yeah, you use it as in part of your defense. So I'm going to show it to you guys in a moment still. And I know there's some new enemies lurking still. There's one on, on the rooftop there, but I know there's another one. I know there's another two, in fact, and I don't want to run into it. I have to take on a, a little group of men and try and get rushed and that. I'm not getting rushed by no, nobody. So let me be careful. I know, ah, there he is. Right. So basically, you've got to time your deflection. And as he attacks you, you deflect the move. But it's not going to happen now, so I'll do it against the next guy. Right, let's lick my man in his head, fall from his body, collect his items. Okay. My man didn't fall, so I couldn't collect the items. So I guess next time I should let him jump down. You know what, I know there's a guy in this yard. So let me fling a rock at him and get his attention. Bring him outside. Oh, and he's, okay, so he's rolling his little swords, yeah? Alright. So it's about timing, so if I time it right, man will do the move. The move's hard. BAP! That move there, rude boy. Man, deflect it. Roll on man's back and just jump man up from behind. Cause what? Get me, man. Just sort man out, rude boy. Just bore him up. Yeah, that's, that's the move I wanted to show you still. So, I think I'll sw switch back to my Tomfers. Let's keep it moving. Let's see what was inside this tre uh, treasure box. See what loot they got for me. But yeah, you know, I will experiment with um, a little bit with the axe. Um, the spear is actually hard on this game as well. You know what I mean? It's not one of my favourites, but the spear is hard. But you know what? As man's doing this let's play, I guess I can use it and mix it up and maybe learn to like it. I don't like the axe at all. Um, some people probably do like the axe. I'm not a fan of the, of the hammer. You know what I mean? And the ball and chain is hard, but it's just not for me. So, I'm not even going to diss the ball and chain, it's just not for me still. My man's eating the corpse, you know, allow it. Some vampire zombie looking thing where you're just eating up the corpse and then that across the road. So, man's safe to just grab that. I mean, one of the things with this level that I've just clocked is there's not as much human enemies. It seems to be a lot more yokai that's running around on this level. So, I mean, personally, I prefer fighting the humans because I feel I get a better combat experience. Like, these dumb little stupid zombie things, man, I don't really like them. I mean, like, the big thing in front of them, I like fighting them still because it's fun. You know what I mean? Like, their combos are a bit repetitive, but if you do get caught slipping, then you're finished. But I do like fighting them, you get me? Like my, my main aim is to take off their horns. I love, I don't know why, but I just love taking off their horns and putting them on their, on their knees, you get me? It's like they're bowling to man, you get me? Recognising that man's a general, they're my lieutenant. Yeah, I love that, I don't know why. I don't know why, I just love it still. But yeah, like when you, when you lift off their horns, you take out a hell of a lot of their life and it leaves them vulnerable. And then you can just, you know what I mean, give them that little finishing move when they're down on the floor if you've taken out enough of their health. If not, 
then it will still take out a lot of their health and then you've got to give them a few more licks afterwards still. Right, I know there's a guy on that rooftop so I'm going to go up there and take him out because I don't want him to interfere with the fight that I'm going to have with the two big yokai down at the bottom. Yeah, this little prick. I'm going to try to fling a grenade at my chief. Get out of there, bruv. You're flinging bombs at me, fam. Let me come around you. Beat man's ass and you fell off. Allow it. Okay, we need don't like he's gonna run back up here, so you know what? Let me run down the bottom here. I'm gonna sort out my you right that's what. Oh, okay, so you did try follow man, yeah? Chief. You should have waited until your boy spotted me. You would have had a better chance. Idiot. That man was running at me like he's gonna bore man up, you know, with that big white lift. Ooh. Ooh. Wee. The man was getting a bit too confident there still, you know what? Regardless of how good you get at this game, yeah? Don't get overconfident, fam. You know what I mean? Unless you've got your guardian spirit up, even when you do have your guardian spirit up, you know what I mean? Don't get too confident, because if they are getting like their little hits in, it'll make your guardian spirit wear down quicker. I have seen guys that have got their characters that are overranked. And when you are watching their videos, remember, remember their characters are superly ranked up. So don't think you can just run there all guns blazing and you're going to be doing what they're doing. No, that's not going to happen. If you do that, you're going to get moved up. You're going to get bodied. So when you see these men going in ham, just remember their characters they, they're probably on some next new game plus like six or something. You know what I mean? So... When you're, when you're new at the game, playing through it for the first time, like I'm running through this playthrough with you, man, don't be overconfident. Stick to the game plan. Move in. Get your hits. Roll out. Keep it moving. Don't be stationary. Because you will get batted. As you can see, I'm constantly moving, keeping my distance. Letting him do his telegraph combos, rolling away from it, rolling back in, getting my few hits in, and then repeat. I mean, there are certain um, yokai that you come across in the game that you've got to have a different strategy for. You can't have the same game plan. But when you understand the character's combo system and you've got a strategy for it, stick to it. Don't get gassed. What well, man gave me, what, a few arrows still? Alrighty then. You know what? Let's fight a reverend. Let's do this. Let's fight my you. So, so man's been a bit shocked to fight the reverence, yeah? Because they are harder than normal characters. I allow it. But, ban it. I'm a merc man fam. They're coming with that big heavy start through boy. Get me. You hold that rude boy. You see that rude boy. Lick man's head off, cuz. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. I got a bit gassed. I got a bit gassed still. Ah, he's dead. Dead. Finish him, Mary Boy. No long thing. Yeah, so that move the Tom Fizz, yeah? When they're stunned, Mary Boy. I love that combo, fam. That combo is dirt. Ah. You know what? I think you, man, are going to see me play a lot more with these Tom Fizz, Mary Boy. Alright, so I don't want that thing to see me. Let's see how far he walks down. Alright, cool. So, new enemy, you know what I mean? Don't underestimate those little kid looking Cyclops things because you need to dead them before they transform. I'm not going to tell you what they transform into, but try and kill them before they transform because the fight will be a lot easier murking them when they're not fully grown, you know what I mean? Before they transform into whatever they transform into. Right, let's start this off by looking, okay, that was a dead shot. Right, let's lick him in his face. There we go. Lick him in his fat eyeball. Right. Oh, allow it. Oh, okay, I couldn't move back. I didn't realise the building was behind me. So, you man just saw how much life that took out, yeah? So, you don't want to get clotted with that too many times. So, wait for your openings. Woo! 
Yeah, you do that, fam. I'm nowhere near you, bro. And even when, yeah, they got a tiny bit of life like how he's got, yeah? Don't take the risk of rushing and going back in. Because man will one shot kill you. Because I know that little bit of Dibby health I got there, yeah? If man lit, man, I'm finished. That means I get sent all the way back to the beginning of the level. Well, my last save. And I ain't made a save. So, talk about a save point. I need to find where this next shrine is still. Because if I get bodied, yeah? Man's got to go all the way back to the beginning of the level. That is missions. I'm not involved in doing that. I need to find a shrine. Ooh. I wonder what's up here. You know what? Let's guard up. Just in case there's any ninjas lurking around there that's going to roll up and try to stealthily kill man and that. Right. See, look. You see how they try to lure man in with that item in the treasure box? Nope. You're not catching me slipping like that, fam. You still ain't see me. Some type of ninja here, you still ain't see me. Man, you ain't no ninja room, man. I'm going to take you out, cuz. Woo! Yeah. You know one thing yeah, about this game though, yeah? How's the western though, yeah? How's my man? Oh, what's that? Okay, so I've got an east gate key. Cool. But anyway, as I was saying, how's the westerners martial arts, yeah? Better than the real samurai man then? Like, that don't make no sense. Where did he learn martial arts? Who taught him martial arts? Like that. Ah! Man's found a Kodomo, the first one I found throughout the whole game. But anyway, yeah. Who taught my man martial arts? I really want to know. Like, because man's moving out here like he's Bruce Lee. Like he's man like Jet Lee. Get me? Makes no sense. Who do you think he is? On back. Man's moving like a bad man, fam. Like, anyway. Let's keep this moving. Let's see, what, let's, let's, let's see what's in these boxes. Nothing. Typical. Typical. I'm out here trying to get money and ain't no money coming. Like, game's mugging man off. You know what? I'm going to go take my anger out on this river. Come why? Yeah? Let's do this, fam. Hold that. Hold that. No. No, fam. Do all that. Hold that, Rupert. Hold that, cuz. Your man too licking your blood clot, Rupert. Ugh. Get me. What? No, 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 no. Man thinking he's bad out here. No, no, no. Listen. I'm going to beat you like I'm your father. Hold that in your blood clot. Shut up. Dick him. You know, why can I still hear a baby crying like how I could in the first level, but man can't see an old picnic on the stage? I know I heard something earlier. There's some big ass tree that leads to the top of the building, you know. You know what? I know there's going to be a ninja lurking around here somewhere. It's gonna, what are you going to do? Jump from the top of the building? Man's hiding in some corner. See? The picnic there crying again, but man can't see an old picnic on the game. Shut up, fall off the building, die bitch. Uh that's right. That's right. So uh so when you fall off buildings, yeah. I'm not too sure if there has to be an enemy, but if you press an attack button, you don't just fall off. If you hit the floor like with your sword or whatever is in your hand, you don't lose any health, I think. But you know what? Later on in the game I'm gonna test out I'm gonna test out my little theory to see if I'm right. Has a little cyclops baby looking thing. You know what, man? You man have probably put it together already. All right. If you don't kill it instantly, it changes into the big giant cyclops looking thing. So just take it out before it turns into that. I don't think there's a benefit of you letting it get bigger. I don't think you get any more Amrita or anything like that. Ah, uh, this is a dude that man spotted at the beginning that was just creeping in the corner. Man, try to man up. Yeah, look off your horn here, boy. Get me. Yeah, hold that. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, dead now. Really. Yeah, man. Go back to health. Give me my health. And give me my items. What did I get? Okay. Bap bap, so I think this is the east gate. Okay, no, it's not the east gate because it would have said you've used the east gate key. Alright, so what? Ah, oh, it's taking me full circle. Okay, cool. Let's take a little bow. Burp, burp. Alright, let's go back to where I was. Ah, okay, see, good thing I did call Mr. Item. Actually, you know what? Let me run back down there because I didn't even check that area properly when I was there still. So let me see if I have actually missed anything. Have a quick little search. I might find another Kodoma that I didn't see at the beginning of the game because I didn't look around there properly. Nothing there. Ah, see, there we go. The dead body with body with some items. All right, let's quickly save this and run back down to where I was before. I'm gonna body this thing, but I'm gonna leave the other one in the corner still. My man's just chilling. This thing just looks nasty, boy. My man's tongue is longer than this arm. Ugh. I don't care if it's the one-eyed cyclops looking thing picnic. I'm gonna body it. Same way. Don't throw bombs at me. You know what? I'm gonna rock you up, room, man. Kick your ass out into the river. Take a swim. Clean yourself up. I'm gonna wash the blood off my boots. Right now, let's see what it is. What's this? Water amulet. Ah, oh, okay. The amulets basically you can infuse your weapons with different um, elements. All right, anything else around there? Anyone want some? Anything else? No. Nope. All right. Let's keep it moving and get myself back to where I was. Oh, by the way, guys, just when you um, when you go to a safe point, this is the benefits, the pros and the cons of making a safe. So obviously, you save where you are. The last place you was, you're all good. That's the benefit. The con, if you've just worked real hard here and you found an area tough and you make a save, everything respawns, as you can see. I did this thing earlier when it caught me slipping and because I saved it, everything respawns. The benefits of the respawn is you can farm and retar. So you can go back through the stage where you know where everything is and just body the enemies again and get more and retar. So it depends on how confident you feel going back through it. But I would always say save the game anyway because you don't want to you don't want to die and then get sent back to the last checkpoint, which could be the beginning of the game, and you've decided to ignore a checkpoint. The only thing that doesn't reappear, that doesn't get respawned, is when you've got the yokai realms, they don't come back. So you don't have to worry about you know them coming back because they can be jarring like a mother. Mm -mm. You get me? So, yeah. But these yokai things are minor though, man. We've wrapped them up real quick, no long thing. Climb up the ladder. Lick this thing. You know what, let me switch it. I'm not gonna waste a bullet on you. Let me drop an arrow in him. Can't see his head, so I can't be headshot him. Now I headshot him and give him one more lick and finish him off. And the game is ganking, he's not dead. Now he's Jump down, if so. So, get his attention, draw him out. There you go, man. Put man on his hands and knees. You get me? See, I'm trying to get him to swing at man. So when he does it, he leaves an opening for me. So if you noticed, when I'm fighting enemies, I don't just go in for the kill. I wait for them to do their combo, and then when they finish their combo, that's when I go in to pack 
man up for it, boy. Get my thing in there, you get me? So it's like a little game of chess certain times, you feel me? Get in, get out. It's kind of like when you're a player still, you know what I mean? And you've got one goal and that's just to beat a gal and bounce, you know what I mean? You get in, you get out, you vanish. Alright, lit man's head off really bad. One of the things I do want to see though, um, in Neo Part 2, is more weapons, like a different variety of weapons. Like, I'd, lo I'd love if they put nunchucks in this game. The nunchucks would be hard. Or, like, if any of you may remember Ninja Gaiden 2, and I think it was a Ninja Gaiden 3 as well, is when you had the chain with the two small axes on the end. That would have been mean, fam. But, yeah, so this little thing just jumped on man and grabbed man and whatnot and poisoned me. So the quick way to get rid of the poison is just bang an antidote. If you don't take the poison, the poison lasts, and it just drains out your life. So don't waste the health. Because even if you use the health, it's not going to clear off the poison. So just bang up, bang an antidote. Ah, so this is the gate that I needed to use the key on. Alright, cool. Let's see if there's anything around there for man. Any kodomas? No, nope, I feel like I've missed out a bag of kodomas, you know. Command's only come across one for the whole of this first part of level four. One kodoma. Like, and I swear I've searched properly. But I'm not even going to go back for it. Alright, so you got these sentry things. They look like normal statues, yeah? But if you zoom in on them and your cursor goes red, that's how you know they're an enemy. Like, the sentries are big. Well, not that big, actually. Well, they are big, but they're powerful. Mad powerful. But again, they're very slow. These, I think, if I remember correctly, are two-hit kill. They'll kill you with two hits. Right. Bullets don't really do fuck all against them. So don't even waste your bullets on them like I do. Arrows don't do much either. Alright, and you see when he did that swipe here and it went down into the ground? He's gonna do it again. Don't go in straight away because when he brings back up the sword, that's still an attack. So wait like how you see me waiting just now. Do that when you're fighting them. Right, I'm gonna fling a bomb at him and let's see if fire damage does a lot of damage. And yes it does. That yam nice bit of his life. What that was hot. I'm gonna have to hit man like three times to take his life. But I'd love to talk to the producers of this game of where they get their ideas from so for some of these creatures, man. Like some of the creatures, some of the characters in this game are dope as fuck still. I don't know why I just waited for the grenade car. I should have known that weren't worth a lip man from that far. Bring another one, dead one of them, bring the other left arm. And don't worry about using your items. That's the whole point that there. You know what I mean? Use whatever you got in your arsenal to destroy your enemy. The only thing I'd say to kind of maybe, maybe hold back on is sometimes on your guardian spirit. Because you could be entering a boss fight and not know and you may need a guardian spirit. This little punk's really not trying to let me hit him, you know what I mean? Just moving around. Oh, yep. Aye! He, he, he's going to transform on me, I know he is. Yep. Yep, he's going to transform. I knew it. So yeah, so that's how quick they can change. So you know what I mean? That's why I like to take them out while they're, while they're still small, you get me? And just turn into this massive thing right by. But man knows how to body them, so... And you man should know how to body them by now as well. And if you don't, then boy, watch more of my videos, innit? Take a book. Take notes. Right, so there was a treasure box at the bottom there. And that looked like it was heavily guarded. So I'm assuming there's some bad boy items in this box for me to rouse. Get me, what have I got? Some armor. An axe. Alright, cool. So man got a chest plate. Looks like I got some, some leg armor. And I got a hammer. Man don't deal with a hammer, so the hammer's going to get moved. I'm going to sell that real quick. Or might even just dismantle it. Let me fight this reverend as well. I feel cocky today. Let's bring on another reverend. Let's body another one. What's he using? 
Oh, he's using the ball and chain. The ball and chain can be peaked to fight again. I guess not. Ball and chain ain't shit. Okay, the ball and chain. Oh, Banger health. The ball and chain's going in. I got a bit cocky. See, now that move looks like it's the only thing that's working. See? I'm going for a normal attack and he just defends it nicely. I've got to be careful. Yeah. Oi, ay, oi. Ah, that was too close for comfort. Oh, so I might have just cut off. Anyway, that was too close for comfort, man. Jeez. Man nearly got bodied out here. But anyway, guys, that is fourth level, part one. You're done, though. RL score says Hack and slash all day. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Subscribe and like. Peace.